Well, biosimilars are completely different from generics. First off, generics are chemically based. They're used a lot for maintenance medications and sometimes to cure, but mostly for maintenance medications. They're, they use small molecules, uh, which is different from biosimilars. They don't have a lot of clinical trials, uh, or at least as much as biosimilars do, and they're exact copies of the brand products that they're, that they're duplicating. A biosimilar is different because it's not made from a chemical substance, it's made from living proteins or living cells, so that's the first thing. Second thing, because it is so different, you have different storage and handling requirements. You don't really have that stringent of storage and handling requirements with generics. Another thing that's interesting about biosimilars is that um, the black box warnings are a little bit you know, more intense. Um, the biosimilars are a lot more costly than generics, uh, so they do cost a lot. A lot of different things involved in that with the manufacturing process. There's litigation um, with both, but the litigation is a little bit different here because biosimilars have to prove so much more because they have so much more they have to prove to the FDA in order to get approved as a biosimilar. And then they need all this manufacturing information from the biologic, and that's, you know, there's tension between that, so that's, that's not going to happen. But, uh, so there's a lot of litigation on that. So, you know, just those instances show that there's a, a pretty distinct difference between the two.